happy Halloween, happy October. I absolutely love October and that whole period of time as we are closer to Thanksgiving. I think honestly that anticipation, that excitement uh, that happens in October is the best part of this next three months that we are about to face. So um, today I decided to do something a little bit different, something that I haven't done in a while. I decided to do like a really simple tutorial for Halloween makeup and how to blend those dark colors together which we all have problems with blending dark colors so hopefully that's going to be very easy for you I'm going to show you some tricks and some techniques that I use in order to blend, uh, to blend dark colors in order to have dark eye makeup so if you are interested to see what the heck I did on my face today <laughs> This is my Halloween look, right? Um, yeah, continue to watch. Let me know what you think. Uh, let's move into the tutorial. Let's move into the tutorial portion so you can enjoy this crazy clown-like makeup that I just did today. So since I'm still applying some of the makeup, just making sure that I prep my skin well. So we're going into October. Actually, it's October 2nd here when I'm recording it and it's probably going to be posted tomorrow. So yeah, happy Halloween. Uh, I'm doing the easy to follow Halloween makeup that looks good with everything. It makes you feel like you're not trying too hard, but you fit in. So you don't have to fully dress as someone else or something else. It's just to have that little vibe and celebrate Halloween. I absolutely love mon the month of October because that's when my son was born and also because I love Halloween. So uh, he wasn't born on Halloween. He's not a Halloween baby, but uh, he's going to love Halloween as much as I do. I'm just going to force him to dress for something, as something every year because I missed out, out on it. In my country, we didn't have really Halloween. So um, now I'm going to be forcing him to dress as a Spider-Man or Black Panther or something else that he's going to just want to be each, each year so uh, it's going to be easy to follow and we're going to have some help so we're going to do like a nice burgundy going into dark black brown uh, kind of color team just to have a very nice and dark makeup it has to match my hair a little bit uh, so yeah let's start so I'm going to probably use two palettes uh, one of the palettes is going to be Rosewood Natural by Neutrals by Dior. And I'm going to play with these three colors, I guess, here. And then just to get the base. Uh, and then I found this on Amazon. I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like a Morphe palette with all the browns and stuff. So again, I'm going to concentrate right here on these colors right here to create this look. And another thing that you're going to need is a black liner, something that you can trust and um, just to kind of draw the line that you can follow. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually put the tape so the makeup is actually nice and clean and has this edge that I don't have to worry about drawing. So this is where I put it. And I promise you this is like an like an, the oldest trick in a book for all I know and it is so handy when you're trying to do more of a dramatic look and you want to have this crisp line uh, so again let's start with the base let's start with this uh, palette right here we are going to go into this one in a corner right here and uh, the idea is you can use whatever you have at home doesn't have to be freaking your palette it's whatever you trust whatever you feel is a good palette for you and you see how easy this is no really look this is what happens when you put the tape you literally have like this crisp line right away so <laughs> actually you may not even need that black liner honestly wow I'm kind of loving it wow it looks so crisp that's insane so you do the same for your other eye and again you just cannot go wrong with that so you're going a little bit into crease like this here same thing just be generous with this color and honestly the way it looks and the way this color blends in I don't know if you're gonna use a lot of different colors outside of that because this looks actually really awesome so again the other eye and don't get like discouraged if you see that it looks different on each eye 
your eyes are different one from another literally every human being has two different eyes and they shaped a little bit differently which drives me nuts somehow unless you're like a supermodel with the symmetric features uh, you probably struggle from having two different uh, eyes different shapes two different feet and hands um, they even say that one leg is shorter than the other I don't know I don't know if I believe in that but overall we're just not symmetrical. I'm going to take a smaller brush with the same color. I'm just going to go over the lower lash line. Okay. So now I'm going with a little bit darker color, moving on to the other palette. And I'm probably going to go between these two colors here. Actually, these three colors. Just to deepen this look a little bit. So we're going with this color here. So you basically go in and make it all darker. Let me see if you can see it. Let's see, I went from burgundy to kind of like dark brown. This is not the end of the look. This is just the beginning. So once you feel that you have a grip on your eye makeup, I'm going to go with something a tiny bit lighter. some lashes on okay and clean this all up and I'm gonna see you in few seconds for you uh, with nice crisp eye makeup so we can move on into another part okay so now that the eye makeup is done and this is what it looks like with the fake lashes and a little bit of a glitter in a, in a corner we are moving on to the lip makeup and again it's going to be a mixture of dark uh, colors just to kind of get the color that I really want to get so I'm actually going to use two lip liners I'm going to use the cat J cats uh, what is one called burgundy and then Huda Beauty silver fox and then we're gonna follow up with the appropriate lipsticks as well so to get the right shape and the right color first I'm going to go with the burgundy and there's a little bit of, of overdrawing, but nothing crazy. I'm going to follow up with the Silver Fox by Huda Beauty. Mm. I just feel that I just don't love it on its own. But when I mix it with burgundy, it gives me this depth and dark goodness that I want to have on my lips. And I'm kind of doing it pretty fast, like because of the sake of this video. But the truth is, you want to spend some time doing it for sure. Uh, I'm going to follow up with the Silver Fox lipstick, but just not a lot, just a tiny little bit. And I'm actually going to use my finger to blend it. And it's a lip, lip, la, matte lipstick, but I want this burgundy to shine through a little bit more, so I'm gonna top it off with the same, uh, with the same burgundy lip liner that I used at the very beginning, because I don't want it to be too gray. To get, I would say I used, I did like four layers, but it's all worth it because one layer is gonna hold up the other one. Is going to press the next one all mixed together 
it looks awesome and I don't want to go too dark but I don't want to go too light I tend to look weird with the very dark lipstick so I always want to warm it up a little bit and lighten it up with a different color my ma my nails don't match damn it I have to do black nails for Halloween I still have time but not for today so for today it's all gonna suck you know oh, let's see what else my eyebrows look horrendous I don't know why I'm gonna probably do it before I do the final view of the all makeup okay yeah for now it's all good and now the thing that makes true difference is that artistic portion of it and let's hope that I don't F this up okay uh, so go bold damn it like you live once go bold so I'm gonna probably use this cheek and you wonder what I'm doing right don't worry And now I have to really focus and have the right color to finish it. Yeah, it looks horrendous. But let's keep going. you know what it is okay it looks kind of stupid uh, <laughs> let me finish this off camera and I'm gonna see you with the completed makeup and hair and you're gonna tell me what you think about it because if you hate it you have to tell me that and if you don't hate it if you like it you have to tell me that all, also just because I like to soak all the compliments in so I will see you in a sec okay guys and this is the final makeup the final look I hate to see negative comments but I decided to be bold and to go out there and do this stupid makeup and I like it I don't think it's stupid I think I'm gonna go like you know grabbing go grabbing candies with my son around the neighborhood with it it's like I said it doesn't say like oh I have to try so hard in order to uh, enjoy Halloween so I don't know let me know what you think please subscribe if you haven't done so everybody who subscribed means so much to me click that like button so I know whether or not to do videos like that or any videos at all uh, I'm loving my hair I don't know what you think but I absolutely love the color this is really what I would actually wear for Halloween and uh, yeah that's it this is pretty much the entire tutorial uh, I hope that you had fun with me a little bit and I hope that you're gonna try to replicate it again it's just not really a brain uh, you know surgery it, it, it kind of sucks because I don't really have that many skills when it comes to drawing but <laughs> I think you can pull it off I mean maybe you're more artistic than I am so it's gonna go great so anyway this is the end of it hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, again subscribe click that like button and I will see you in my next video happy Halloween guys